Running 
we shall be lost in that great symphony We scan in circles through the rhythmic spheres And all the live words from the heart shall be One with our heart The stealthy creeping years have lost their terrors now We shall not die The universe itself shall be our immortality
Mephistopheles shall stand by me. What God can hurt thee, Faustus? Thou art safe, cast no more doubts. Come, Mephistopheles, and bring glad tidings from great Lucifer. Is it not midnight? Come, Mephistopheles, Veni, Veni, Mephistopheles. Now tell me, what says Lucifer, thy lord? That I shall wait on Faustus whilst he leaves, so he will buy my service with his soul. Already Faustus hath hazarded that for thee. But, Faustus, thou must bequeath it solemnly, and write a deed of gift with thy own blood. For that security craves great Lucifer. If thou deny it, I will back to hell. Stay, Mephistopheles, and tell me what good will my soul do, thy lord. Enlarge his kingdom. Is that the reason why he tempts us thus? Solomon Misery Socius Abuis Doloris. Why? Have you any pain that torture others? As great as have the human souls of men. But tell me, Faustus, shall I have thy soul? And I will be thy slave and wait on thee and give thee more than thou hast we to ask. I, oh, Mephistopheles, I give it thee. Then, Faustus, stop thy arm courageously and bind thy soul that at some certain day great Lucifer may claim it as his own and then be thou as great as Lucifer. <laughs> Mephistopheles, for love of thee I cut mine arm and with my proper blood assure my soul to be great Lucifer's chief lord and regent of perpetual night. View here the blood that trickles from mine arm and let it be propitious for my wish. But Faustus, thou must write it in manner of deed of gift. Nothing, Faustus, but to delight thy mind withal, and to show thee what magic can perform. But may I rise up spirits when I please? Aye, Faustus, and to greater things than these. Then there is enough for a thousand souls. Here. Mephistopheles, receive this scroll, a deed of gift of body and of soul, but yet conditionally that thou perform all articles prescribed between us both. Faustus, I swear by Helen Lucifer to affect all promises between us made. Then hear me read them. On these conditions following. First, that Faustus may be a spirit in form and substance. Secondly, that Mephistopheles shall be his servant, and at his command. Thirdly, that Mephistopheles shall do for him and bring him whatsoever he desires. Fourthly, that he shall be in his chamber or house invisible. Lastly, that he shall appear to the said John Faustus at all times, in what form or shape soever he please. I, John Faustus of Wertenberg, doctor by this presence, do give both body and soul to Lucifer, Prince of the East, and his minister, Mephistopheles. Speak, Faustus! Do you believe in this as your deed? I take it, and the devil give the good on it. No, Faustus, ask what thou wilt, 
First, will I question with thee about hell? Tell me, where is the place that men call hell? Under the heavens. <laughs> Aye. But, uh, whereabout? Within the bowels of these elements, where we are tortured and remain forever. Hell had no limits, nor its circumscribed in one self place. For where we are is hell. And where hell is, there must we ever be. And to conclude, when all the world dissolves and every creature shall be purified, all places shall be hell that are not heaven. Come, I think hell's a fable. <laughs> I think so still. Till experience change thy mind. Why thinkest thou then that Faustus shall be damned? I <laughs> of necessity. <laughs> For here's the scroll wherein thou hast given thy soul to Lucifer. Aye, <laughs> and but it too. But, but what of that? Okay, so that Faustus is so fond to imagine that after this life there is any pain? Dash, these are trifles and mere old wives' tales. But Faustus, I am an instance to prove the contrary, for I am damned and am now in hell. <laughs>